Hi, I am Arun Mishra and today we are going to talk about Supplier 360 installation. The agenda for today's video will be prerequisites to install S360, installation steps, demo and we will verify the successful installation. The prerequisites are, we need to read the product availability matrix for Supplier 360 to discover the system requirements and a supported version for products, database and application servers. We should have an MDM with ActiveOS configured, a blank ORS with metadata imported, hierarchies enabled, and registered in the Hub Console. Elasticsearch should be configured, and we should have S360 installers. Moving on to installation steps, we should have a MDM configured with ActiveOS and a blank ORS with hierarchies enabled. So here I have created a CMX ORS which we will use for S360. And imported the metadata. Now we will enable the hierarchies. To enable the hierarchies, we need to go to hierarchies. We need to select the database. Click on OK. And we just need to acquire a login. Once hierarchies are enabled, we need to go to repository manager, connect to master database and we need to validate our ORS. Once ORS is validated, we need to extract the supplier 360 installer file into the MDM installation directory. So here I have the installer and I have extracted it. We will get an app folder. We need to copy it and paste it in our MDM installation directory. Once it is pasted, we need to import S360 change list from InfoMDM app TSR hub change XML folder into the ORS which we created. We will go to hub InfoMDM app TCR hub change XML and we need to import this change XML into our ORS. To do so, we will go to repository manager, we will go to promote change list tab, we will choose the target repository that is our ORS and we will choose the source repository that will be our change XML. In app tsr hub change examine and then the change list once change list is valid we just need to click on ok so that it gets imported meanwhile our change list is getting imported we will copy the respective jdbc jar file from hub server lib and place it in app tsr lib folder So we need to go to InfoMDM hub server lib directory and need to choose our respective JDBC jar file. In our case, we are using SQL server. So we'll choose MS SQL JDBC jar and we'll paste it in app TSR lib folder. Moving on to next step. Moving on to next step, we need to edit application.properties file which will be under InfoMDM app tsr config folder and we need to update ActiveOS data source url so we need to go to app tsr config folder and edit applications.properties here we need to provide data source url for ActiveOS in our case it is jdbc slash ActiveOS and we need to save this file next we need to create a log folder that will be under app tsr and we need to put that path into mdm apps log 4 properties file here we'll create a logs folder that will store s360 logs and we'll copy this path we'll go to app tsr config edit mdm apps log 4 dot properties and we need to provide part to log file 
we can name it as s360.log and save this file then we need to update the base url in mdm apps config.properties file this file is also under app tsr config folder we need to edit this file and we need to update the base url in our case host is localhost and port we are using is 8080 we can also give application admin user in our case it is admin and save this file now we need to run install tsr.bat command from app tsr bin folder the change xml is also applied successfully so we need to go to app tsr bin folder and we need to run command install tsr.bat we need to provide hub install directory by default we have d in family m hub only then we need to provide s in s360 install directory that will be d in family m app tc tsr we need to enter the type of application server we are using we are using jboss then we need to provide activos console username and activos console password and we need to wait for this script to get completed so we can see our build got successful and we have ran install tsr.bat script successfully Moving on to post installation steps, we need to set up Elasticsearch configuration from provisioning tool for the new ORS which we created for S360. To do so, we need to log into provisioning tool and choose our S360 ORS. Under configuration, we need to go to infrastructure settings and we need to create an Elasticsearch cluster. We need to click on create and apply. Once it is applied, we need to publish. Once it is published, we need to click on ES node. And we need to create. We need to provide the ES node name. In our case, it is ES node 1 and the url we can get this url from elasticsearch.yml file which we have configured and we need to click on apply and publish again and we need to wait for this changes to get published successfully next step is insert lookup data using the scripts which are available at infamdm app tsr data reference data directory so we need to go to this particular directory Infamidium app tsr hub schema reference data we need to choose our database in our case we are using sql server so we will choose ms sql we need to open it it will have various scripts we just need to copy it and paste it in our ms sql server management studio we just need to paste it and execute it. so as we can see it has inserted our reference data once this is done, we need to go to hub console and run the batch group to load lookup data. So we need to go to hub console, batch group. We need to expand bg all lookup load batch group. We need to go to control and logs and just click on execute. And we need to wait for it to get processed successfully. We could see that it is getting completed successfully and some of them are still processing. We need to wait for it to get computed successfully. Once it is done, we need to go to Hub Console, Users and Groups. We need to acquire a log. And we need to assign application administrator role to our user. Once is it once it is added successfully, we need to go to repository manager and validate our ORS again. We need to wait for the ORS validation to get completed. Once everything is done, lastly we need to go to S360 application. To do so, we just need to go to 
MDM data director login page login with the user to which we just provided application administrator role we need to choose supplier 360 application and we'll be logged into the supplier 360 application we could see task manager my jobs queries etc that's all here from you Thank you and have a nice day.